It's pretty cool, I ain't gonna lie. Today's video is very straightforward. If you follow me on any of the Suluk 46 social media channels, you will note that last week I designed and built a prototype sub five ounce folding buck saw. Now it's unique in that it folds. That's different than the Uki buck saw that I currently sell. And what we're gonna do today is test it. It's the trial run, let's see how it does. Oh. So we found what I would consider a nice remote spot that we can test the saw. Now there's gonna be two saws that we're actually gonna to test today. Let me show them to you. This folding saw I bought probably 15 years ago. It's been sort of my go-to saw on two-person luxury camping trips, if you will. This one weighs about a pound, and to be honest, it cuts very nice. So what I wanted to do was compare this one to the new ultralight version. It's pretty cool, I ain't gonna lie. So on the scale right now, this weighs 4.7 ounces. I don't know what the production version will actually end up weighing, but that's what I have so far. Very similar to the Uki buck saw in terms of the strategy to deal with the forces in that it's water jet cut aluminum pieces with spacers in between and aluminum button head cap screws. So that's sort of how it works. You can see how small it is. It is a 12 inch buck saw. Front of the saw blade has a spring pin in it that gets fixated into a pre-cut hole. The back end goes through the slot. The washer and the wing nut then go on the threaded rod and it is tightened like so. Creating quite a rigid structure. It's actually more rigid than I thought it was going to be. Jeez. I won't bother showing you the setup on this one. I'm just going to get it done and start cutting wood because it is freezing. I understand that the two saws are significantly different, but what they do have in common is they have the same style of blade. Yes, different lengths of blade, but the same style. What we are going to do is we are going to be comparing the effort factor. And the effort factor, I believe, comes down to the number of strokes. We may look at how long it takes to cut the wood, but that is not a good indication. The number of strokes is. Also worth stating that everything I'm doing here is non-scientific and might not even make sense, but I need to test the prototype saw and we're gonna test it today. First up, it's the big guy. That was actually way faster than I thought. 13 strokes, 13 strokes. Now you will note that I'll cut directly beside this one, verifying in fact that it's the same type of wood and the same diameter. Twenty-two strokes. Thirteen, twenty-two. Let me do some math to compare that. Seventeen strokes. Twenty eight strokes. Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, the initial test, I would say, was a success. It is able to cut with these. It is certainly rigid enough. And to be honest, I'm super happy with it. So I know this video is going to be a little bit short, but I thought you'd have a good time 
testing some of the gear with me. You know, to give you an idea, this is how I develop products. I design it, I build a prototype, I do as much engineering analysis as possible, but there is nothing like real world results, which is what we're doing now. I'm gonna go back, rewatch the footage. I'm gonna put some math together to prove that it cuts as efficiently as a longer one, just with more strokes. Afterwards, what I'm gonna have to do is basically some toughness testing or long-term testing. I might make a few prototypes to give them out to people. If you're interested in testing the saw, comment below. And if you stuck around this long into the video, well, maybe you deserve to test it. After I can confirm that it can withstand the daily abuse of long-term backcountry adventurers, well, quite frankly, put some costing together, and it'll be up on the website. If all goes well, it's usually a few months. What I'd love to know is if you'd be interested in something like that, or if there's a design aspect that you would like to see incorporated. So in the comments below, let me know what you think of the saw. I'm Steve Evans and I'll see you on the trail.